Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry it's been a minute since we've posted. We've just been super busy with designing our house and preparing for a baby, but we actually have announced that we're pregnant, so it's a huge weight lifted off our chest that we can be a little more open about what's been going on. Anyways, um, I just wanted to make this video to talk a little bit about like my first trimester, my second trimester, which I'm in right now. Um, by the time you see this video, I'll be about 16 weeks and we're due at the end of October. Um, so we're so excited. I just wish October would come like next week, but we did ask a bunch of questions on Instagram, uh, for a Q and A, but we'll film that probably tomorrow. So these aren't your Q and A questions, but it's just more talking about the pregnancy so far. So if it looks like I just woke up from a nap, I did. Um, I was asleep for like three hours. That probably happens every day. <laughs> and anybody who knows me knows I'm not a napper. So that's just very different. That is probably the most different part about being pregnant is that my energy level is just like very low. And if I don't nap or go to bed early, I just feel like super just tired all the time. So take naps if you need to take naps because I was resisting it at first and then I realized I need to rest because I'm growing a human. <laughs> okay, first of all, there's two must-haves. Um, I would say, I'm not professional pregnant lady. I'm just... Okay, sorry my camera died. Um, but, like I said, just take your prenatal vitamin at night and it will help you with your nausea and everything else. So the next thing that I think is essential is this LMS Japanese oil. Um, I use it all over my body twice a day. I'm like out of breath. <laughs> this is like <laughs> my whole pregnancy. I've just been like out of breath. Um, this oil is kind of expensive, but I promise you it's worth it. Um, the Skinny Confidential posted all about this and I asked my friend Indy what she used and she used this the whole pregnancy neither of them got stretch marks which I know are inevitable if you you know have that in your genes and if you're gonna get them you're gonna get them but I do believe that this helps um, I did get stretch marks while I was on my mission in Peru so I know that like my body is like capable of <laughs> having stretch marks um, I got them like in my inner thighs so I'm just really trying to avoid having them on my belly so I've just been rubbing it on my stomach every single day and sometimes on my chest and my sides when I remember but for sure like targeting my belly and you're supposed to um, put a bunch on and then rub your hand clockwise um, for like 30 seconds to a minute. So if you are pregnant I would highly suggest getting this oil. I'm 16 weeks I don't have any stretch marks yet which I know I haven't done like any stretching yet but my belly is bigger and I don't have any yet, so crossing my fingers that this helps. Since Jack and I found out that we were pregnant, I didn't really have any like symptoms before I found out that I was pregnant. Um, but we'll kind of tell the story about how I found out with my Q&A with Jack tomorrow. But I didn't have any like symptoms before. I just basically took the test and the test said yes, so that's how I knew I was pregnant. Except for like a couple days after, Jack and I went surfing pretty early in the morning and I didn't eat anything and I like was like pretty much barfing on the beach it was so bad but um i just realized that like i have to eat before i leave the house and that's like still to this day like even though i'm out of my first trimester like i have to eat every day or else i get super sick um i've probably only thrown up five times throughout my pregnancy no probably 10 or something not a lot like i know tons of girls throw up like multiple times a day so i would say i've had like a really chill pregnancy compared to some people but I just have been very nauseous. I get nauseous in the morning until I eat and then I'm fine. And then I get nauseous around like three or four, which is like the worst. I hate being nauseous. Um, and I only threw up like when I would see broccoli or like <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Like you guys saw my videos in Hawaii, we were eating so healthy and we probably had broccoli and Brussels sprouts and vegetables and mushrooms every single day. Um, and I was a vegetarian too. so. Like, it's just so weird to me that my body, like, will not, like, stay on the side of it. So, like, I haven't had any pregnancy cravings. I've just had things that I, like, cannot even look at. Like, like I just said, those vegetables. So, like, I went over to my mom's house, and Brooklyn was about to make dinner, and she, I could just see the broccoli. And I was like, please don't cut that around me. She's like, you're fine. I'm like, no, I will barf. Like, do not cut that around me. <laughs> anyway, she started, like, chopping it up, and I just bolted to the bathroom, and 
you guys know the rest. So she didn't believe me, but it's a real thing. And I didn't really believe, I mean, I did believe people, but it's just weird experiencing yourself that like things you really, really like to eat every day, like you can't eat them while you're pregnant. But like I said, cravings wise, I've just been eating a lot of fruit. Since I'm out of my first trimester, uh, I've been able to eat healthier, which is nice. Um, I've probably gained like 13 pounds, I would say. We don't have a scale here, but whenever I go to the doctor, we check. Anyways, I used early gender reveal blood tests at the doctor. So at 10 weeks, you can do that. You should ask your doctor about it. If you are pregnant, it's super awesome. And it tells you if your baby has um, like Down syndrome or um, any chromosomal um, issues, they can also test you as the mom. It's, it's like $100, so it is more expensive, but it's, it was worth it to find out the gender early. There's two apps that I've downloaded. Um, one of them is called Ovia. That's also the one that I used before I got pregnant to track my ovulation and things like that. Oh, speaking of, Jack and I tried to get pregnant for about eight months. I was just using the app on my phone to track when I was ovulating. And when I actually took the real test, like the box of tests that like you pee on the stick and it tells you if you're ovulating, I was actually ovulating like four days earlier than my app said. So if you are wanting to get pregnant like ASAP, like I would suggest getting those tests because your app's like kind of off and your body can be different. But the app is still awesome. Um, it's called Ovia. It tells you like what size your baby is. Today our baby is the size of a large avocado. So that's kind of exciting. And it tells you like little updates like this week you might be feeling um, flutters and kicks or this week you are going to um, most likely gain weight and like things like that. It just tells you little like tips about what's going on in there. Um, another app that I just found, this is the most important part of this whole video because I love it. So ever since COVID happened, my doctor is pretty much said like don't come into the office we're gonna do all of our appointments over skype and i was like super bummed because i i just like have been stressing a little bit like especially since i'm not really sick anymore i'm just like is she okay is the baby okay like i want to make sure she's fine is she breathing is her heart beating um but i can't go in to like get it checked obviously you could buy a doppler which is like totally doable but um one of my followers actually reached out to me and was like have you tried the shell app i was like no she's like you can listen to your baby's heartbeat. And I was like, you're kidding. So like I <laughs> ran home and I like downloaded the app and basically like you take your case off your phone and you put this like left part of your speaker just like around your belly and you just feel around to where she or he is at. And if you hold it there and hold it still, you can find its heartbeat. So like the first day I didn't find it and I'd spent like 15 minutes on the app. The next day, um, I just looked like right under my belly button and she was right there. I thought she was like way lower But anyways, she, I like heard the heartbeat. It was so I should play it for you guys. It was so cute So anyways, I'm obsessed with this app and I use it every day It's like so quick I I found it and I was like, oh my gosh, and Jack wasn't with me So I like called it anyways, so you can like record when the baby's heart you find the baby's heartbeat It's the coolest thing um anyways so those are apps that are really awesome and that update you and help you and everything. I just kind of wanted to update you guys. I think that being pregnant has been so awesome. Mood wise, like I felt pretty good at the beginning. It's like sometimes you just feel like lonely because you're like not sure what's going on and you're like the baby's so little still so you're just like anxious a little bit. Um, Jack said, Jack, babe. What? You can answer this. Come here. I'm gonna ask him like how I've like been like mood wise. Okay, we're talking about like how my mood has been since I've been pregnant. You've been so nice. No, no, no. You have to be real. The only thing that has changed with Kenneth's mood, I think, is she's like really snappy. Really snappy. <laughs> but it's not like a mean snappy. She's just like quick. Yeah. That's it. You're really tired. Yeah. She's really tired, but for the most part, she's just like really caring. Oh, you're so nice. We'll do a Q&A soon. Get out of here. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, being pregnant is so awesome, and it's like such a blessing, and I love that like I've connected with so many people who are pregnant, and it just makes me appreciate my body more, because it's so cool that like this baby's actually growing. I do have a bump, and it's cute, and I love it, and every day I feel like it gets bigger and bigger. It's starting to get like a little bit more uncomfortable when I sleep, which is like normal, but I just bought one of those like, I'll link it below, but I bought one of these like pillows that's like, it looks like this, 
and basically it doesn't allow you to like lay flat on your stomach or your back it just like you just curl up to it and like lay on your side like you're supposed to if i lay on my back ever i wake up in the morning and it's like so uncomfortable oh i also pee like four times a night which is just like inevitable but that sucks <laughs> it's like preparing me to wake up for the baby though i'm sure sorry i'm out of breath <laughs> again next week jack and i are doing a 40 ultrasound so that will be really fun to see like features and things like that and obviously the baby's still little and you know gonna develop way more but um that should be fun because we haven't seen the baby since seven weeks and like the baby literally looked like like a peanut at seven weeks it had like no formation of like its body or anything our pictures on the fridge are like very old <laughs> um so i'm excited to see it and hopefully the blood test the blood gender test was correct we'll find out <laughs> next week Jack's been doing awesome. He was really surprised that we were having a girl and I kind of felt like we were having a girl. I don't know, but it's really fun. We have, I think we have our name already picked out, which is so fun, but we'll probably share with you guys in the next video names that we aren't using that we did love. But anyways, that is my little pregnancy update and I hope you guys like it. I am just really hyped that I can have a baby. So October come quick. Thanks for watching.